Hi, this is K7JM, and I want to give a demonstration of how I installed my weather system and uh, how I put it on a Shiva plug. This is not really a how-to, but just kind of a, a general overview of the things I've done. And here is the finished product of my weather station that's available at mcdougallshome.net slash wx and it gives our current uh, and past uh, weather of Jefferson City, Montana. And I have the finished product updating its information to uh, Weather Underground. So if you search for Jefferson City, Montana, there's our, our current weather and um, our webcam. The way I got into this was I've always been interested in having a weather station, but I run Ubuntu Linux on my computers, and I kind of worked backwards. I looked for software first, and then a device that would be compatible with this software, and uh, it was kind of a slow process. I got the actual weather station for Christmas. So well before Christmas, probably a couple months, I started playing with some software and I came down to the choice of WView and it's available at wviewweather.com. It's very easy and it's very configurable and you can modify it if you want to really dig into it. And so what I suggest is you go to the wviewweather.com website and read everything you can about it. They have a very extensive user manual on it. And so print that out or, or take your laptop and set it on your lap and watch a movie and go over the manual or however you do those things. But uh, there's a lot of information in it. Now the neat thing about uh, weather uh, WView is that you can install it and it has a... a Simulation, a simulated weather station built in so you can get all the software working and it will create fake data for you. Now as far as installing it, the easiest way that I found was to, uh, let me go back here, click this link right here, install, upgrade, convert, <clears throat> and this is all in the uh, manual to the user manual. But it has the uh, the uh, repository repository uh, additions for your sources list. For Ubuntu, I used uh, this one that says for Lucid, and I used that for 10.04 and 10.10, 10.10, and that worked for both. Later on, I'll show you how to, I installed it on a Shiva plug computer uh, with Debian, and uh, even though I'm using Debian Squeeze uh, testing, I used uh, the Lenny source here. And that makes it much easier. You'll find instructions how to install it manually. I did that at one time, and I had a lot of problems. I managed to get it working. But uh, doing it with the source is very much easier with the apt-get install and install it. It's very easy. So this is what it looks like when you're just testing it. I changed some of the colors and configuration on this in case uh, when you fire it up it doesn't look exactly the same. But it just makes fake, fake data in sin kind of a sinusoidal pattern. So you can get it up and running and I took the time and modified the page and I added my webcam and and our local radar picture and stuff like that and so you can play with it after you install install it and the way you manage it is uh, you go to your local host uh, where you have it installed and the management is uh, wview mgmt management and log in and the default password is wview and that's just fine for your testing purposes and this is all the setup for it it might seem overwhelming at first but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy
Uh, you can FTP up to website. Uh, you can connect it to Weather Underground, which I have done, and um, uh, you can send the information to the uh, the APRS net. I've tried that. I have an APRS net um, ID call sign. And it identifies my location, but I do not see the weather on there, so I, I'm not sure why it's not transmitting weather, but just my location. I'm not sure. But everything is very configurable and showing your system status and of what things you have running and what things you don't have running. And, and uh, it's very easy. Now, one thing that I noticed that... Uh, I suggest you save changes on every page when you make changes on this thing. And uh, when you're done, you need to go to your terminal and uh, stop and then restart your uh, your server, your weather server that it installs uh, to update everything. That's the easiest way that I found to do it. And you can find that information in the user manual, how to do that after you install it. So once I got the weather software up and running, this was a couple months before Christmas, and I wanted to get a weather station for Christmas, I uh, did some searching. And these are the main weather stations that are available to, that works with WVU out of the box. And I have a limited budget and do things on a shoestring. So I, I found that the lacrosse, uh, weather station is a more inexpensive item than than any of these others. Uh, some of these are multi-hundred dollar items. And the lacrosse, it's kind of a beginner's weather station, but it does have functions to connect to your computer, and and it does uh, has instruments that you put outside. And but uh, it is probably a, a lower end model. Now, I did a search on the internet for and looked at some of these. The 2315 was appealing to me. Unfortunately, <clears throat> these are all old models that are out of production, and I'm not sure why newer models are not um, being added to the system. But I found the 2315, it took some searching. But uh, you might go to the lacrosse website if you're interested in the same item. This is just the one I picked. If your budget is bigger, then go for one of those better weather, weather stations. They're probably more durable and last longer. And I don't know. But this is the weather station I got. And it does uh, quite a bit. It uh, has a, a temperature, humidity, wind, wind speed, direction, rainfall, measurement, uh, barometric pressure. So it has all the basic stuff. You can go on to Google Shopping and give a search. And many of the places that have it listed, you go to their website and click purchase, and they'll be they'll say out of stock and no longer available or something like that. And you get quite a variety of prices on this thing. Like, for example, this one's 272 bucks, And uh, this is from Universal Radio, a good ham radio site. They have them for about 200 And before Christmas, they had all three available, all three colors. And so they are selling them, and it looks like once they're out of stock, that'll be it. I did find a cheaper one here. This is not where I got mine. Uh, the place I got mine, and there's no longer available, but this is for 150 bucks. They're brand new. They're just kind of a closeout item. And that's about the same price I spent for mine, although I got the wood side panels instead of the aluminum one because that's what was available. To connect all this stuff up to my computer... I needed a com to uh, USB to com cable because my computers don't have any RS-232 cables, and that's what this older item interfaces with is a com uh, the RS-232 protocol. 
And so I was careful to search for an item that I knew that would work for Linux. I, I've read a lot of different things on serial cables that uh, some work, some don't work, and there's quite a difference in them. And so I found this item, and it works very well. It works perfect. The reviews, there's a couple of reviews that said that it worked with Linux, and it has... Uh, I don't recall the chip. Oh, let me see here. I might have it here. The chip is a PL2303 that it runs on, and that is supported in the you know, most modern Linux kernels, and it works in uh, Ubuntu 10.04, 10.10, and on Debian Squeeze that I have installed on a Shiva plug. So that's a affordable price. I should have probably picked up several of these because it worked just perfect. Now I found that when I installed this whole system on my uh, laptop or on my computer that uh, if one of my kids would get on the computer and do some stuff uh, it would knock the weather station off. And so I wanted to be able to put it on a different device and something that uh, wouldn't be tying up my computer all the time. I mean, it really never tied up the computer. It all works in the background. But I wanted it to be on something that I could shut off my computer and, and not use all that juice. So I started looking around at plug computers. And the one I came up with was the uh, Shiva plug. And let's go to uh, Shiva plug here. And I got it from the globalscaletechnologies.com. And uh, I got the Shiva plug development kit. Wait for their website to pop up. I, and this is the Shiva plug. It's just a very small item. It's a bit bigger than a like an AC adapter for a printer or something like that, but it, it's still quite a small item. And this little device has a 1.2 gigahertz ARM processor, has a half a gigabyte of RAM, half a gigabyte of solid-state uh, memory, has a USB port, an SD card port, a gigabit eth Ethernet port, and it also has another S, uh, serial USB port for connecting it straight to a computer to um, act as a terminal for the thing. Costs a hundred bucks. They also have uh, different models that are a little bit higher uh, level. Uh, they have what's called a group guru plug, which uh, one of their models has Wi-Fi in it. That's very interesting, but I read some reviews that they get quite hot and uh, like too hot to the point of burning themselves up. And so I shied, shied away from that. Otherwise, I would have definitely got that because of the Wi-Fi. That would have been made it just one step easier because I wouldn't have had to have this tied close enough to my router to plug the Ethernet port in it. 